Your brain is like a grocery store. Anxieties, intrusive thoughts, guilt, violent images, all of that stuff, they're like the vegetables you hate. And when we're struggling, we go in the grocery store and we immediately notice those terrible vegetables. The brain puts them on display for us. We walk in the store and bam, a big display of turnips. And I really hate to see turnips. I wake up, go to the grocery store, see a turnip, my whole day is ruined. I'm never going to the grocery store again. So this is stage one, hating on brain stuff. At this stage, maybe we search online to fix the vegetables we hate. We try to find a grocery store that doesn't sell broccoli because that triggers us. Maybe we try to find some drugs that cover up the vegetables. We get labeled as having an eggplant disorder. I'm like, what's the right therapy to get rid of Brussels sprouts? I start an Instagram channel with the username Zucchini Disorder Fighter 2020. But the key here is that the brain stuff I hate, those vegetables, I'm putting them in charge of my life right now. They didn't do anything but exist, and now I'm defining myself by my fight with them. I'm the one hating on that stuff, checking it, trying to control it. This only makes things worse, but somewhere in all of this hating on vegetables, I hear that we need to confront our anxieties, we need to face the vegetables we hate. Then we're into stage two, exposure to brain stuff. I go into the grocery store, I walk straight up to the turnips, and I stare at them. I face my anxieties, and it makes me feel terrible. So I come back the next day, and the next day to stare at them, and check how I feel. I write stories about how badly I want to put those turnips in my mouth. I record myself talking about eggplants, and make it a ritual to listen to that over and over again. But then, the anxiety does go down. I don't hate them as much. And that's even more terrifying. I should hate them because they're bad. What does it mean that I'm not disgusted by them now? I get up close to some eggplants trying to make myself feel horrified like I did in the past and it doesn't disgust me. Oh no, does that, does that mean I like eggplants? How can I make myself anxious again? Most people get stuck at stage two, trying to make the hated vegetables disappear from the planet. It becomes their new compulsion. The thing is, trying to avoid and control human experiences is the problem. To break this cycle, we've got to jump into stage three, changing interactions with brain stuff. Confronting our fears is awesome, but all of those judgments, the hate, the controlling feelings, that's all us. The turnips are doing nothing. And maybe you've got years of hating on turnips. Maybe you had a traumatic experience with turnips when you were a kid. Totally understandable, but in this moment, you get to make a change. We want to show the brain that thoughts are thoughts. Vegetables are vegetables. So first, instead of judgment, start with curiosity. Grab a turnip, put it in your cart. What happens? Why is that challenging? What are you afraid of? Maybe it will ruin your life. You'll never get to do the things you want to do because you have a turnip. But, oh wait a second, you're not a little puppet controlled by vegetables and brain stuff. Bring those fears along with you while you choose to move your attention around the grocery store. What happens when you put the vegetable you hate in the cart with the fruit you love? You can carry both. Go browse the ice cream. You're not ignoring the turnips. You saw them, you've got one with you. But you don't need to put your life on hold to chase some feeling about the turnips. You can have any thought or feeling or vegetable in your cart while you go to buy ice cream. And with that practice, we move into stage four, doing what you value. When you go to an actual grocery store, do you spend your time hating on the vegetables you are not going to buy? Are you constantly checking the corner of your eye to make sure you're not about to get attacked by a panic turnip? No, you, you probably don't do that, right? But there are lots of vegetables in the grocery store you don't like or you're not gonna buy. You see them, you smell them, that's fine. It doesn't mean anything about you. If I wanna bake an apple pie, and that's what I value creating, that's what I wanna to give to others, do I go to the store to hate on the turnips? No, I can see anything as I make my way to the apples. I wanna use my judgment superpowers on the apples. It's not about defeating something I hate. It's about creating something I love and doing that well. 
If your goal in life is to bake an apple pie, but you're spending all of your time hating zucchini and searching online for ways to eradicate zucchini, you don't need to get rid of zucchini. You need to start giving time and energy to the apples. Make it about the skills you want to build. Quit hating on human experiences. Go and bake a fucking apple pie.